It's a F-150. Yeah. 2007. Yeah. Scan this check engine light. 2007. Go. Actually, it's a touch screen as well. Mm. No, this one never came. This one was never on. So this is a new code to you, right? Yeah. Uh, P0021. We can look up the data and a bunch of other things too. All right, guys, welcome back to Vito's Garage. Today is going to be a really interesting day because I'm really excited. I'm going to see another car. Uh, it's a really big surprise. I'm not going to tell you what car it is right now. I don't know, maybe the title will tell you, but uh, I'm not going to talk too much about that car. But I'm really excited to go see it. It's actually three hours away, maybe like two and a half hours away. So uh, it's really awesome. I can't wait to go and see that car. Um, we'll see. Hopefully, I'll pick it up. I don't know. I'm a really big maniac, but. Uh, you know, I did talk to the person about the car, and we've been talking for like, you know, a week right now. So I really do want to go and look at it, and probably pick it up. So we'll see how things go. And as you can see, I have a lot of things right there. A lot of, you know, parts. Not parts, but just like fluids and tools with me. A jack, jack stand, and all that stuff. You know, anything that you w might need when you're, you know, doing a road trip, or you're doing, you know, like, you're buying a car. So... Anyways, guys, stay tuned. There's going to be some uh, nice shots for you, some nice clips of beautiful uh, Washington State, and, uh, you know, I'll see you soon. guys I just got this amazing beauty uh yeah I might need the screwdriver uh, Phillips yeah just grab my backpack if you can well guys here she is as of right now she's not super pretty but and she has problems here and there but I just love the color of this car so uh, the main thing that I'm worried about is the front brakes are trashed completely literally nothing and I'm like three hours two hours away from home and then the tires are not the best either <laughs> so crazy but there she is okay so I'm gonna try to drive it home and I'll tell you more stories later right now we're about to hit the road I need to go to the gas station to fill up and I'm gonna swap the plates This is crazy guys, I'm driving, I'm trying to be really slow because the brakes are like bad, really bad. Ooh. Just, yeah, I'm not going to film too much guys, we're going to go to the gas station, fill up and carefully go home. Alright guys, I just filled up and then right now we're proceeding, we have 120 miles to go destination uh, ooh, she's doing good but I'm really loving this car I just need to be careful driving this but you know other than that she's not bad uh, she needs work but um, you know that the color of this car is just so nice I really love green W140 is you know like it's it's so hard to find a W140 in a green color like literally so this is a really rare example I need to clean it up really good and fix a couple things here and there but I'm really excited for this car to be honest with you. I love this thing. Alright guys, we're rolling. We have about 115 miles left. Uh, she's doing great. 
the thing is that the tires are actually really bad on this thing and I didn't know the owner didn't tol tell me but it didn't ha it doesn't have a spare or anything so that really sucks but uh I'll be uh, I'll be very careful and uh, we're just gonna get her home safely so the steering wheel is vibrating obviously most likely bad tires and balancing mirrors are loose they're shaking bunch of other things guys okay but I just love the green on cream look at this like it's it's super cool you know like you don't see a lot of W140s with uh, uh, you know in green exterior color and you know cream interior leather it's it's so awesome I really love this thing so much so this is a, gonna be a new addition to my fleet I really love this thing. The steering wheel is actually in a great condition on it as well. So everything is going great so far. I'm just keeping my distance, being very careful here and there. Um, everything else is good, temperature is good, oil pressure, all that stuff. Obviously I checked the fluids before I drove away. Um, they were okay. Uh, the previous owner overfilled the trans fluid, so it's way overfilled. So I, I'll have to do a lot of stuff on this car, you know. And main thing I'm really excited is for the cleanup. Gotta clean all this mess and stuff, you know. But she's gonna get there, you know. She's gonna receive uh, love from Vito's garage. So really excited, guys. Look at these bulletproof glass and everything it's awesome all right guys driving on a highway still and uh, you know like I said I'm keeping my distance and I'm being very careful when I drive and um, other than that I'm just hoping that it doesn't start raining even though I bought the Rainex uh, water repellent uh, I still hope I'm still hoping that it's it won't rain just because these wipers don't work okay there's an issue with the uh, wipers on this car as well so hopefully it doesn't start raining and uh, yeah if it does then I'll have to pull over and uh, spray some water repellent on it uh, just in case but as of right now everything is good we're passing Seattle right now we're not in an a we're not actually in Seattle but we're just going around Seattle so because if I went through Seattle then that that would take a lot longer uh, you know you can see how many cars th there are here you know it's it's about to be like traffic whatever but uh, you know I'm pretty sure that in, as of right now there's a lot of traffic in Seattle so that's why I wanted to avoid that area So right now I just hit a construction area so that's why we're kind of slowing down right here so hopefully <laughs> we can exit out of this construction area soon so you know we don't have to like just stay here long enough so other than that as you can see this is this is Washington state and those two lanes those two left lanes those are actually express lanes uh, it's basically like you can pay a toll if you want and you can drive over there, but you know, this is, we just, as you can see, we just drive right here using these three lanes. Alright, I just pulled over because I need to spray water repellent on the rain, on the windshield. As you can see, rain is starting, so I have to do it. Oh, it's crazy. We're on the highway too. So a little bit earlier I sprayed some uh, water repellent and look, look what happened. Someone got pulled over in front of me. That's crazy. Alright, we're about to drive again. Alright, so I'm finally on the road. As you can see, the rain, uh, Rainex is doing its thing. It's repelling the rain from the windshield, so that really helps out. And I had to turn on my heat because the gauge started like creeping up a little bit, you know? It's weird.
Don't do what we do at Vito's Garage, okay? <laughs> don't drive with bad brakes. Don't drive without windshield wipers. None of that, okay? Thank you. Alright guys, I just stopped at the gas station here. Uh -huh. You can see from the wheels how bad this, uh, these brakes are actually. So yeah, we have about uh, 20 more miles left to go and uh, we'll be home. Other than that, she's doing fine. Like I said, there's going to be work that will need to be done on this thing. But other than that, main thing is going to be front brakes <laughs> ASAP. And probably tires. Did you see the tires? Look at the tires, man. Jesus. Tires are bad. The yeah, rears so are not too bad, but the fronts are really bad. And I was I was worried about the rain too, you know, because the rain is like that's why I stopped. I was like, let me use the Rain X, you know. And then this handle also has issues and stuff. But I'm excited for this car. Though, other than that, it just needs to be washed. Oh yeah. Well, this really sucks. Um, I'm driving with the traffic right now, and it's it really it's really bad because it's stop and go, and it sucks because I have to have my heat on because something is up. But the engine is trying to like slightly overheat or something, so I don't want it. I don't want that to happen. So I have the heat it on. Uh, it's full blast, and also my brakes are horrible. And I actually noticed some smoke from the brakes because it's metal on metal uh, <laughs> it's pretty crazy guys wow I don't ever uh, try that at home okay and then yeah I'm just gonna continue my journey here guys I gotta tell you like even though with all the problems and issues that this car has it still drives like super smooth on the highway and everything like you know alignment is not perfect and things like that but it's still driving like I mean it's it's amazing you know it's still like super comfortable and everything like what an amazing machine I can't wait to uh, fix it all up this car is in a great shape actually uh, just needs cleanup and a few things here and there um, All right, guys, we're almost home. Just following these cars carefully and slowly. And uh, yeah, we have about like 10 more miles left and we're gonna be home. All right, guys, we made it home safely. It was a really crazy trip. Uh, it took us probably like two and a half, three hours to get back. Uh, mainly just because, you know, like I said, I was, uh, I, need, I had to, you know, drive really carefully and slowly <laughs> because the brakes were trash uh, still are trashed out in the front there's literally like metal on metal uh, rotors are bad everything is bad uh, tires are shot literally so I was, uh, thank god there was not a lot of rain you know that um, we encountered so I didn't have to worry about hydroplaning or anything like that so uh, thank god and then uh, a couple more things just you know like I said, I just had to be like very careful and just do it everything, you know, like slowly. And then, uh, you know, my buddy was following me, so everything went great. Everything is amazing. She's home, safe and sound. You know, as soon as I get time, I'll start. I'll jump on, uh, you know, onto repairs of this car. You know, like I said, the first thing is probably going to be replacing those brakes. Uh, that's pretty bad. And uh, yeah, I'm just really loving the color and just admiring this car. It's, it's so amazing. Just love this thing. Just love looking at this Mercedes W140. It's a legendary car. 1994. I love this thing. 
uh, one more thing guys this is not an s500 a previous owner installed this fake badge this is actually an s320 and this is a short body uh, w140 okay just so you guys know that